Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today is a very special day. Not as special as the next video, but it's a very special day. So I'm gonna tell you guys today what kind of boost we're putting on the truck. Now, if you guys aren't subscribed, I highly recommend that you just go back and watch some of the videos. You don't even have to subscribe. But if you go back and you like what you see, you like what we're doing, you like the charge pipe video up above, or any of the other videos of us getting ready to add boost to this truck, 5.7 Hemi, mega cab, very heavy, needs a lot of power, and we're gonna make it happen. But go back, watch those videos if you like them, and subscribe. Now today, you guys, we're going to basically just give the truck some love. Uh, gonna do an oil change. Uh, it's it's due for an oil change, so it's about good timing. You'll wanna go ahead and have fresh oil in it before we do the boost. And then also, once I get done doing that, uh, should have plenty of time, I'm gonna go ahead and install the boost gauge. Uh, probably won't route the actual boost reference line because we have vacuum right now, not boost. So, uh, but it'll be ready to go and save us some time. So we're gonna be doing that today, throwing on the gauge. Already have these two gauges here, transmission temperature and a wideband gauge. If you guys don't know, wideband gauges are super important for anything that you're trying to make a performance build out of. So, any anyway, guys, without any further ado, we're gonna get going with this. Got it drained, and I'm gonna put seven quarts of fresh oil in it. Got that nice Mobile One full synthetic. So I'm gonna get that in there, and then start putting the boost gauge on and talk to you guys about the boost. All right, so as you guys know, I have those two gauges now, but we have to get a three pillar pod to run the third gauge. So uh, I'm gonna reposition some of the gauges on here, but this is what we have from GlowShift. This is a boost vacuum gauge. So it's just like the other gauges, it's lit up, has the LCD display and the dial. So uh, at zero, that's zero boost. If you come down here, that's vacuum. So when we're not in the boost, it'll read vacuum when it's running. And then once we get in the boost, we'll come up in this little area. We will probably never see 10 pounds ever, but it's probably gonna be more like five or six, to be honest with you guys, at the start. But um, so we have the gauge, uh, some instructions, and our pillar pod so here is the wire that basically this connects our gauge to our boost module so this is a little module that plugs in there boost line goes from that into well this filter so it goes from here and my boost line going into the filter and that just filters any contaminants from getting into this and then that'll go on to here and we'll tee it into a existing line to the manifold and then that'll be how we get that. Then the gauge is also powered by this guy, so we can wire it into our existing gauges and it'll all work the same way. Now, I may not run this today, we'll see, but uh, yeah, that's what you get. Also has this mount here to keep it solid in the deal, but these, if you get the glow shift pillar pod and their gauge, they fit perfectly in there and you don't really need to fasten them down with that so let's get to tearing what's in the truck out and get this guy installed all right so got the pillar out of there uh, very carefully pulled the gauges out and got some of the wires hanging here so i'm going to move the transmission temperature gauge to the top and our wide band is going to stay at the bottom and in the middle is going to be the boost gauge so uh but i'm going to have to extend the transmission gauge because it's going to go farther up than it is now so they give you these wires um so here we have the wire that's for our power and you're gonna have basically a key on, a supply power and a couple other things there. We'll get to that in a minute, but this has to go through the firewall and this is gonna go into our gauge. This one is the one that goes to our control module or I guess our boost module that goes to the line and the two ends are identical. So it doesn't matter which way you put through the firewall, you just need to put one end to the firewall. 
and it doesn't have to go very far but i'm gonna get to doing that and uh basically gonna run the same way these are so we'll get doing that and get this thing installed all right so i got some wires all mangled and dangled right here got the gauges in to the pillar and excuse the wind there is a bundle of wires here there i soldered them in and everything but then i just wrapped them up make it a little prettier but uh and then this guy is going to go to our boost reference module but so i'm going to get these puppies all hooked on to here get it all set up and then uh probably go ahead and just run that reference line and that way it's ready to go all right so got them installed boost cage here trans temp at the top and a wide band down there now the boost cage is not as important as the wide band or the trans temperature in my opinion but when we had the boost we're going to want to know what our boost numbers are so that's what that's for now um this the only thing we haven't done is connected the line that goes to the manifold but that's pretty simple you'll just connect it to that little uh, box that has the fitting for the hose and connect that to a spot on the manifold or a line coming off the manifold but we're not gonna do that today but hey look this is how it looks it looks really good actually let that power up everything matches really nice now that's gonna read it should read zero you'd think no boost it's atmosphere it's not started but it's actually reading negative one because here in Arkansas we are above sea level so we actually have less uh than sea level so we're going to get a little bit like less air pressure meaning it's going to read a negative one on basically negative one pound of boost basically is what that's is it's, it could also be one inch pound of vacuum but trans temp all that we'll start it bang awesome so now um let's talk about the boost all right so what kind of boost are we putting on it it's going to be a supercharger is it going to be a turbo well you guys drum roll please the boost that we are going to add is going to be in the form of a centrifugal supercharger going with a torque storm supercharger um, so everything we have already is everything we need. The only thing left to do is once the supercharger gets here, which should be in a week. As a matter of fact, by the time this video is posted and you guys are watching it right now, it might already be in. So stay tuned for that. We'll do an unboxing, but I've got a Torque Storm supercharger. Now we're only going to be running about six pounds of boost, roughly. It may be even more like seven. It may be more like five, but. Our boost is going to be around uh, 6 PSI. I decided to go that route because instead of pulling the engine again or pulling the pistons out and gapping the rings and doing all that stuff, I just don't have time for it, guys. It, I have everything to do that, everything we need to do that. So it will get used on something, maybe this truck, maybe another build coming to the channel, not sure, but that stuff, I still have it. But we're gonna go with a Torque Storm Supercharger, gonna be running low boost, uh, you know, that six or seven PSI of boost. Got a ambulance going by. But they, uh, so that's gonna be a safe amount of boost to run on the truck. Now, that pulley that we're gonna use is gonna be the one that they use uh, on the stock trucks uh, that just wanna add the supercharger alone. Now, um, that pulley on those trucks puts about seven, seven and a half, maybe eight pounds uh, uh, to that. Now, keep in mind, boost pressure really isn't anything. Boost pressure is talking about a restriction, basically. So, on our engine, full bolt-on and cammed, uh, we're gonna see less boost than that, probably more like six pounds, because of the engine's gonna accept more of that airflow that that uh, centrifugal supercharger is going to make available. So we're going to see a little less boost than you would see on a stock truck. And we're going to see more power because it's going to take that extra uh, air that's getting supplied 
and it's going to use it better, more efficiently, and it's gonna be fun, guys. It's gonna be a blast, I can't wait. So uh, probably in about a week, the supercharger's gonna be in, and you guys can watch the unboxing, and then shortly after that, I have nothing to wait on. Let's get the thing on, and let's do some tests. Let's have some fun. A lot of fun coming to the channel, you guys. So uh, I encourage you to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon. If you guys wanna see more videos of different stuff, please leave some in the comments. Tell me what you wanna see, and we'll get it going on. But uh, for right now, guys, Supercharger's coming. Should be here in a week. Ordered it months ago. Transmission went out, but it's all good. We are still gonna make this thing fast. I'm expecting to be in like the low 14s, maybe the 13s, but let's, let's be conservative here. Probably we're gonna go shoot for the 14s. So guys, stay tuned, looking forward to it, and uh, looking forward to making that number go up.